Yes, I did. Whoa. <laughs> hey guys. Good morning. Um, welcome to episode, I think this is episode seven or eight, I'm not sure. But this is the last video on perimeter that I'm gonna post, okay? Um, now, as I promised, this is the one where we crank things up a little bit uh, in terms of complexity. Um, it's not that much more complicated, but uh, it's kind of something that gave us trouble when we were in the classroom and it is good that we're seeing it again because this is going to be very important for area okay so let's head to it okay so here we are um and as i said this is the last video on perimeter and this is what we have today we have here a rectangle right within a rectangle i have a smaller rectangle inside a rectangle so i think you already know uh where i'm coming from so i am going to ask you what is the perimeter of this rectangle? So what I want to know is the perimeter of this rectangle, the smaller one, the one painted uh, or tinted in red, right? And we're given some numbers, but the first thing you notice is that, well, you said to yourself, you say to yourself, I need to know all the sides, all the measurements of the sides to be able to calculate the perimeter, to be able to add them all together. And here I don't see the, the, they're giving me the sides or the measurements of the sides in the smaller rectangle. They're just giving me some of the measurements of the big one. So here's where we have to be clever in how we're going to find these measurements. Even though we're not being given the measurements of the smaller rectangle, we can find them with the, the numbers that they're giving us. So for example, let's look at this nine. Okay. So this nine means that the space or the length between this and this is nine. So that part, that part of the complete ba base, it's nine. So that means that I need to find this part. I don't have this part. But what I do have is the measurement of the entire, uh, of the entire top side, which is the same because of the rule that we already know how to apply, because of the rule, that entire top part is the same as the entire bottom part. So if the entire part is 15, and I already have this part as nine, I can subtract 15 minus nine to find this part, this part here. And 15 minus nine would be six, so this part here is six. From here to here is six. And we already know that if this side is six, this top side, it's also six. So look at that. We already have two of the si of the four sides that we need. Now we need to find the, the other side, one of them, because they're, both of them are the same. Again, we don't have this one here. We don't have this value, but we have this. And this eight means that this entire side means eight. And now we have this three which means that this part here is three. So if I take eight, which is the entire part, and I subtract the three that I have, oops, sorry, the three that I have, my result is gonna be, oh, sorry, the three that I already have, my result is gonna be five, which is the value that goes here, because five plus three is eight. And so if this side is eight, uh, I'm sorry, if this side is five, that means that this side is also five. And now I have the values of the four sides that I need for the perimeter. So the perimeter is gonna be equal to six plus six plus five plus five, or the perimeter is gonna be equal to uh, six times two, which is this, plus uh, five times two which is, it should have been a five, which is this, okay? So six times two is 12, plus five times two is 10, equals 22, okay? So it the same thing applies when you're doing perimeter and you have decimals, 
or you have fractions, if you need to find the perimeter of a shape of a rectangle inside another rectangle and they're not giving you all of the values that you need, that's because you can find them using subtraction, okay? Or addition, okay? Depending on which one is the case, okay? So this is gonna be very important that you practice it a lot. And I'm gonna uh, post a um, an entire uh, homework on exercises just like this, on problems just like this, so that you get used to finding the values of the sites when they're not given to you. Um, because it's gonna be very important for area, for when we see area, okay? Good, now we have one more thing to discuss before we leave. Okay, so this is the last case that we're gonna talk about. Um, this is an irregular shape, meaning that it's not just a square, it's not just a rectangle, uh, it, it is an irregular shape. Um, and we're, we're tasked to find the perimeter. We need to find the perimeter, but here's what we find out. It has a lot of sides, and we know that the perimeter is the a combination of the measurements of all the sides, but it has very few values. So the first thing that we need to do is just analyze the picture and analyze what they're giving us. So first of all, if I just try to imagine this shape in terms of rectangles, I can draw uh, in an imaginary line right here. And now instead of one irregular shape, I have two rectangles, one on top of the other, right? I just do that in my imagination just to simplify it for myself, just to see it more simple. And I say, okay, so if I'm gonna find the perimeter, I need to know all the values of the sides, all the measurements, right? So because this here is a rectangle, I know that this side means uh, measures the same as this side. So I know that this is also a six. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now I have, now I have another value that I didn't before, uh, that six, okay? So then, then I look at this 10 and I look at this twos, uh, the two twos here and these strange lines that they draw there. When they do those lines, I don't, I don't know if you remember this from class, but that means that this side measures the same as this side and measures the same as this side and this side. All the sides that have that uh, dash crossing the side, that means that the measurement is the same. So these two means that this side is two, this side is two, this side is two, and this side is two. And I go ahead and I say, oh, okay, so now I have this six, this 10, this six, this two, this two, this two, and this two. And all I need to look for is this side here, which I don't have yet to be able to add them all together. Hmm. Let's see, I don't have that value, but I have this 10. I know that from here to here, I have 10. And I know that this side has to be the same as this side, right? Because it's, it is a rectangle, and so the bottom side has to be the same as the top side. So if I have that from here to here, it's 10, I'm gonna subtract from that 10 these two, and this two to get this side. And this side is gonna be the same as this side. So if I take 10, which is the entire length of the top side, and I subtract four, this two and this two, which is four, I get six. So that means that this side on top of here is six. And it should be six because six plus two is eight, and eight plus two is 10, and 10 is what I have in the bottom. So boom, now I have all the measurements of the sides and I can calculate the perimeter. So the perimeter, let's start with this 10. The perimeter would be equal to 10 plus, uh, let's begin this way, 10 plus six plus two plus two. I just added this one, let me change here to a blue one, I just added this and this, plus six, this one, plus two, plus two, plus six. 
and I ended up here. I went this way. I went all of this way, putting all of the values together. Okay. And so I can, I can group these to make it easy, easier. 16 plus, uh, 10 plus 10. So the perimeter would be 16 plus 20, which is 36. Okay. So again, I know that this is confusing. I know that the, the uh, picture probably don't, doesn't help, but um, when you go to Google Classroom and you see the ones that are there, try to find the values of all the sites picturing instead of one irregular shape, picturing two or more regular shapes, shapes that you know, rec rect rectangles, uh, squares, okay? Uh, it becomes a lot easier. And remember that the key when, you, when you're when you not given uh, a value is subtracting uh, the ones that you have from the ones that uh, you've been given. And I promise you, you will find all of the values that you need, okay? So anyway, head to Google Classroom. This time I don't have a, um, a challenge after the video but head to google classroom and you're gonna find there uh some homework and uh i'm getting ready as well to post something on science okay okay so see you later peace